Hello everybody, welcome back to Lady Fire's Kitchen and today I have for you Salmon Wellington or you can also call it Salmon en croute, which means Salmon on crust. Same thing, but it tastes delicious no matter how you call it. So without further ado, let's do this. Follow me to this, uh, to this little area here. So what are we going to prepare at this moment? It is like a pesto, but it doesn't have one ingredient. That's what is one ingredient short of a pesto, which means the pine nuts. That's the only thing we don't have. You submit the pesto, it's gonna be like a, a basil sauce. Let's do this. We're gonna put, it's going to be 130 grams of, look at these beauties. Look at how big these are. Look at these are so, so gorgeous right there. So 130 grams of that. I hope that my little machine can withstand all of the all of this ingredients I'm gonna put in here. Also with that we're gonna accompany that with two cloves of garlic. I don't use this machine that often. I think I should. I'm gonna find the uh, recipes that I can cook with this. Hopefully it will work. And we're going to, uh, I'm chopping it right now. All right, so we're going to continue with one quarter cup of olive oil, extra virgin of course. And we are going to add pecorino cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. It's supposed to be 30 grams of it, but I'm gonna go a little bit at a time because it is salty. So I'm gonna taste it first before I can add too many ingredients to it. With that, I'm gonna add just a tad bit of pepper. And let me see if I can grab something else instead of my hand for a little bit of salt. Okay, just a tad bit of salt. And I'm gonna puree it now, okay? This machine sometimes gives me a hard time, sometimes it doesn't. Move. Okay guys, this is what the, uh, the basil sauce is supposed to look like. Tastes really good. So now we're going to put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes and we're gonna continue with the second uh, part of the cooking or the ingredients. Okay guys, step number two. We're gonna have like two tablespoons of olive oil. Of course, this is warming up at medium high, approximately. We're gonna make one small red onion. We're gonna leave it there until it sweats and caramelizes, okay? So probably about a minute or two. Not a lot of ingredients, if you can see. Okay guys, so I'm gonna add just a tad bit of olive oil in the center so that I can add the garlic to cook, cook it fast. If you can smell the garlic, it is done. Don't let that thing burn, it does. If you do, if you do it just right, it's just delicious, but if you burn it, not so good. I have said that plenty of times, but I don't know who's new on my channel, so just repeating that. Okay guys, we have 130 grams of spinach right here. Fresh, of course, you know I like fresh. As much as possible. Sometimes you can cut corners, but why not fresh? And don't worry about it, that's gonna disappear. You probably have seen this magic trick happen before. It's so big right there, and then all of a sudden, when it gets hot, it just completely disappears. Comes nothing. At this point, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, just a good measure, and some pepper, and it's almost done. Okay, this is done. We've taken it out and we let it, we're gonna let it cool off some before we finish 
um, a recipe. It needs to be a little bit cool, otherwise it's gonna start cooking your your salmon right away. So let's, let's let it have calmed down a little bit. Okay guys, now that I have this a little bit cooler, I'm gonna add it with some, uh, about 5.2 ounces of cream cheese. Let me put it here. And let me, well, let me take it out of this. So I'm just gonna mix them together, that's all I'm gonna do, and put it back in the fridge for another five minutes. I just wanted it to be completely cold before I mix them. guys is one puff pastry and a handful of flour that I got caught in Fragante I wasn't even paying attention and they recorded were recording me just throw it like that on their board this board is perfectly clean you can eat out of it all right so what are we doing now so we're gonna put our it's gonna go slow because it's, it's cold we don't want it to break right and we're gonna work on it and get it as flat as we possibly can because this is this is why what is going to cover our oh this is our crute this is what's gonna cover our beautiful salmon okay so I'm gonna be working on it for a little bit and I'll be right back hi guys my cameraman was helping me with this and he got me sideways a little bit but we but he did a perfect job perfect job awesome so i'm gonna take at least half of this it's already pretty much pretty cold i'm gonna put it on the bottom this is the beauty of this you know you don't want fish that is just super dry and that's the intent of this you know and in, in the beef wellington you use a lot of mushroom to keep the moisture into that beef and in here we're going to be using spinach so i'm going to get this little piece of salmon look at that beautiful piece of salmon and I asked them to please uh, skin it for me or whatever you call it and I'm gonna put that on top right there okay put it on top a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and we're gonna put some of this beautiful mixture this is going to keep our salmon very well hydrated if you will so we're going to put some of this on top there you go don't be afraid to add a lot and i have plenty so I, that's why I, I ordered two pieces because i knew i was going to do this again i have one leftover fillow and i have leftover of this mixture so you can do this twice. Let me make sure I have enough space that I can close this thing. A little extra on top, I'm just gonna put it just like that. That's enough. So guys, we have two eggs here. Mix that really well. And we're going to just get the corners. Let's just hit all the corners with this. This is like the glue. I'm gonna put all of this together. And in the outside, it's just gonna be the, it's gonna give this beautiful glow, glow on, on your crust. I feel like a painter painting a beautiful masterpiece okay so it's really thin so I'm trying to cover everything there we go very gentle oh wow look at this Look at this. I'm gonna 
try to glue it a little bit there. All right, same thing on the other side. sheet. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put some of, some more of this, some extra, right? So on this side, a little bit of that, a little salt, cold shirts better, a little bit of pepper on that side. Perfect. Now we're going to have some a little line so that we can make it pretty. All right guys, so in the oven it goes for about 25 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Make sure you pay attention to it. Don't burn it. Keep an eye on it. All right guys, it's time to cut into this beauty. I, I'm using a serrated knife. Ever so gently. There we go. Perfect. Maybe that way we can see it. As you can see guys, it is gorgeous. And the crust is really crispy. So it's really soft and smooth on the inside. Very flavorful and crispy on the outside. It's just perfect. Okay guys, look at this. Salmon on crude or salmon wellington. However you want to call it. It's very delicious. I tried it. I tasted. I put. I did some fingerling uh, potatoes on the side with some garlic and um, tarragon and salt and pepper, and it is absolutely delicious. On on the side, I do have some broccolini and um, uh, carrots with two different color carrots, and I am absolutely so very proud of this dish. It is very good. I hope you try it. It's not difficult at all to make, not very expensive, and it's very delicious and healthy for you. I hope you do try it. I will see you next Saturday. Thank you for being here with me. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not yet. I don't know why you have not done that. Anyhow, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you next Saturday with another wonderful recipe. Love you. Thank you. I'll see you next Saturday.